hi guys welcome back to my channel today my name is chiwendo in case you are coming here for the very first time i am a nigerian youtuber based in abuja and here on this channel i make sewing simple for you guys so today's tutorial i'm going to be taking you on how to make a flare we all know what a flare is and we have different types of flare okay so we have the 90 degree flare we have the 180 360 270 720 and 1080 degree flare so but the most common ones we use are the 180 360 720 and so on and so forth but today i'm going to start from the list of them all which is 90 degree flare okay so let us get started first of all let me explain what a flare is a flare is particularly in a circular form which you can attach to a particular place do you understand that anything in a circular form which you can attach to a particular place be it your sleeve so you can make a flare into your sleeve you can make it in form of your skirt that is your circular skirt you can even make it in form of a gown so it depends on where you want to attach this circle and that would be the measurements you'll be needing so particularly, we always do need the circumference of that particular place and then the length of the flare. That is just the measurements you need to cut out your flare, okay? So now, a circle is made up of four quadrants. Now, take a look at what I have here. Can you see? This is my circle, and this circle is divided into four. Now, each of these quadrant is made up of 90 degree okay can you see i have 90 here 90 here 90 here 90 and this four over four of a circle is my full circle now this is quarter of my circle i have half of my circle here which is two over four i have three quarter of my circle and here is the my full circle okay now we have formula for cutting out our flare and this formula is c equals 2 pi r and this stands for circumference okay this c stands for circumference of a circle okay now this circumference is known which is circumference of anywhere you want to attach this your flare i hope you guys are understanding what i'm explaining and then now since this circumference is known we have 2 pi r now to find your radius you are going to have r equals circumference over 2 pi where pi stands for 3.14 i'm sure if you did well in your mathematics you should know what i am trying to explain okay now this pi is a standard which is 3.14 okay so to find our circumference you have to Calculate it in this form 2 times 3.14 times r, where r is equal to circumference, which is known that is c over 2 times 3.14. I hope you guys are getting me. Now, let's just dive right into the main tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to be cutting out for today 90 degree flare, 180 which is half of a circle that is this is quarter of a circle we have half of a circle and then we have three quarter of a circle that is 270 okay we also have 360 720 and 1080 degree these are the most common ones okay so let's start with our 90 degree flare okay now to cut our 90 degree flare, I have my brown paper already here. And whatever I do here, you can actually do on your fabric, okay? But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be making use of this brown paper, okay? Now, the higher the number of the circle, the fuller the peplum, okay? So this is 90 degree, that is quarter of a circle. In that case, it's not going to be that full, okay? So the higher we proceed, the fuller the peplum or your flare all right so this is our quarter of a circle and to get that you know that quarter of a circle is one over four 
So what we are going to find out is the radius because our radius is not known. Now, what we are going to do is 1 over 4 R, okay, is equals circumference over 2 pi. Can you see? Where our radius, I'm going to be making use of circumference of 20. That is a Myran waist measurement, okay? So I have a mannequin here which I'm making use of. And the round waist of that mannequin is 20. So that is what I'm going to be using. Now you can see that our circumference is known. If you're attaching this to your sleeve and your sleeve, round sleeve is 14. So your circumference should be 14 inches. Okay. So now that I've explained this, this is 20 over 2 pi. Now this 2 pi is from this 2 pi. And pi, remember, is 3.14. Okay, now remember in your mathematics for your fraction, you have to move this over to this side, and it's going to be times four. This four is going to go up here over one. Can you see? So, what I have here now is 20 over two times 3.14 times four over one. In that case, I should have two times three. 0.14 i have 6.28 can you guys see times 4 over 1 okay so after i multiply all these 20 times 4 i have 80 okay i have 80 divided by 6.28 and that gives me this remember in all this calculation i've not input my length okay so i'm going to make you understand right now now this is my radius, right? And I'm going to make use of length of flare of 6 inches. So the length, I'm going to make use of 6 inches. So next thing I have to do is to um, plus this radius into the length of my flare. Okay, so what I should have is 12.7 plus 6. And that will give me 18.7. Okay, now... I'm going to start inserting my measurement. So since I'm cutting out a flare of 90 degree, I'm not going to fold anything. I'm going to leave my paper like this or your fabric, whichever you are using to cut out, okay? So what I'm going to do is to start from this point, which you know that this is 90 degree, okay? It's a right angle triangle. Do you understand? So from this point, I'm going to input this. Remember that I'm going to be cutting out the length and the radius at the same time. So instead of after inputting my radius, I then input my length. I'm going to mark this out simultaneously. I hope you guys understood me. I'm supposed to have marked out 12. Look at me. 12 points. Seven, okay. So the closest to this um is twelve point seven five. I'm going to make use of twelve point seven five, okay. Instead of marking out this way twelve point seven five from this part, I mark twelve point seven five. What I'm going to do is to mark this simultaneously at the same time, okay. So what I'm going to do is to mark twelve point seven five. Can you see what I'm doing? And then after the 12.75, I'm going to mark my 18.75. Remember, I told you I'm using the closest to the inch, okay? So, you know, I have 18.7 right here. So, I'm going to make use of 18.75. So, you guys, can you see what I have right here? So instead of marking this, and after marking this, I'll place my tape right here and mark out six inches. I'm just going to do it at the same time so that I won't have to make any mistake, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same thing. I'm going to place my tape here and I keep going round, okay? So you guys, can you see what I have here? 
And once I am done with this, I'm going to use my marker and then connect this, okay? And I'm also going to connect this one. And then you guys, this is my 90 degree flare. I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. But before I cut it out, remember that you need half an inch to join to your waist. And then you need about half an inch to turn the hem. The smaller the allowance, the better it is for you to turn your flare, okay? So don't add more than that half an inch, okay? Except you know you are going to use your sedger or you are going to use your bias. That way you can add about one inch. So can you see what I'm doing right here? I'm just eyeballing this and adding half an inch okay and coming over to the hem as i'm cutting i'm going to add up half an inch and that will be for my hemming so you guys can you see now this is my 90 degree flare so i'm just going to go ahead and put it on the mannequin so that you guys can see so you can you see how it is you can see that this is not that full and this is what we call our 90 degree flare so i'm going to go over now and we get into the 180 degree flare which is our half circle all right now guys we are going to move into the 180 degree flare okay so you might find these calculations very difficult but if you can be able to grab this you won't have issues with wasting of your fabric. This is actually for you to know how to manage your fabric, okay? So for us to get our 180 degree flare, the same measurement goes into this, okay? So for your 180 degree flare, it is half of a circle. And to get half of a circle, we have here 2 over 4. That is half of our circle. Can you see? 2 over 4 radius is equals circumference over 2 pi. Now, when you cancel this, okay, we have half, okay? So half of radius is 20 over 6.28. Remember that this is circumference of our mannequin, okay? The waist circumference of the mannequin, all right? Now, this is from 2 pi, Okay, which our pi is 3.14. So 2 times 3.14 is 6.8. Now, when you move this, okay, to find our radius, we are going to have radius equals this. When you move this to this, it's now be 2 over 1. Now, this times this is 40 divided by 6.28. So we have this. Okay, so... Since we have this, we are going to include the length of our flare, which is 6. Do you understand me? Which is 6. So this plus this is 12.37. So now, to cut it out, what we are going to do is this. Okay? So to cut our half circle, you are going to have to fold your fabric into two. Just into two, okay? Remember the first one, we didn't fold anything. But right now, we are going to have to fold into two. So I'm going to make sure that I have, remember that what I have here, the radius plus the length is 12.37. So from this point, okay, let me just turn my paper like this so that you won't get confused with this part. Okay, so from this angle, I'm going to measure down 12 points three sevens okay so let me just make use of 12.5 so i have 12.5 and on this part i'm going to make sure that i have 12.5 you guys 
this this formula is just for you to be able to manage your fabric you know that um flare can be um fabric co consuming so if you make use of this formula you are not going to have to waste your fabric so you guys can you see what i'm doing i'm going to rule and when you are ruling ensure that you have 12.5 also on this part can you see what i'm doing 12.5 and i'm going to also connect okay so i have my 12.5 can you see so now again from here remember that we are going to fold into two so i'm just going to cut this out so let me just cut out from here so next is for me to fold i'm going to fold from here and you see what i'm doing So I make sure I fold it from that line. Can you see the line? After folding, I'm going to turn it for you guys to see. So can you see? I make sure I fold it from this line. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave it this way. Okay? So you can see that I have my paper folded into two. So next, I'm going to do is to start from this point, from the folded parts. Can you see? So I'm going to make sure that I start from these folded parts to start inserting my measurement. So what I'm going to do is to input my 12.5 inches. Now, you guys, for the sake of this tutorial, you can see that my paper is not up to 12.5 inches. Okay? Can you see? But I just want to manage this paper. I'm going to insert my radius, which is... 6.37 and again i'm going to continue going like this 12.5 6.37 can you see what i'm doing i'm going to go over to this side i will insert 12.5 and here i will insert 6.37 Okay. Can you guys see what I have? And since I have this like this, now next, what I'm going to do next is to go ahead and cut. I remember what I told you. If you want to cut out, make sure that you have your half an inch for joining to your waist or anywhere you want to input this flare. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. Now you see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to also turn and add my half an inch. Okay. Remember, like I told you, for the sake of this tutorial, the paper wasn't enough. But if you want to do yours, you already know what I drafted out so now let me open it up for you guys to see can you see this is my half circle okay so this is 180 degree flare okay so i'm going to go ahead and mark it 180 degree and the other one is 90 degree okay so now that we are done with this I'm going to go ahead and we go into the 270 degree flare, okay? Okay, guys, since we are done with the 180 degree flare, which is the semicircle, it's time for us to draft the 270 degree flare. And this is simply a semicircle and then quarter of a circle. So I have my brown paper already placed down here, and this is what I'm going to be using for this, okay? So now the formula simply goes the same way again 
So for us to draft our 270 degree flare, I have my three quarter of circle here, okay? So three quarter of my radius equals circumference over two pi. Can you see what I'm showing you right here? And I have radius equals to 20. So this 20 is my round waist of the mannequin, okay? Over 6.28 times 4 over 3. So after I times them, this times this 80, this times this, I have this. Okay, so now radius equals 4.25. Now my radius is 4.25 and the length, remember, is 6 inches. So now what I'm going to do, now I want to explain something to you guys. So what this simply means is I'm going to mark out three lines and I'm going to be folding my paper or my fabric into three. Okay, remember that the semicircle you folded into two, then the quarter circle you did not fold. In fact, it was into just a piece like this and you cut out your circle. Okay, now this one we are going to have to fold into three. So from this edge, can you see? I'm going to start inputting my measurements and I'm going to do that simultaneously as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to first of all mark out my radius which is 4.25 and then plus the length 6 which is 10.25 so can you see I have my 10.25 okay but then I'm not going to do it this way so this is my 10.25 so what I'm going to do is to make sure that I as well have 10.25 right here can you see okay i also have my 10.25 here and next on this line again i'm going to make sure that i have my 10.25 okay and i'm going to go ahead and connect so can you see i have my 10.25 So, this same thing that I did here, I'm going to repeat it here again. So, from this line again, I'm going to mark out 10.25. So, I will continue this until I have this into three places. So, I have 10.25. Okay. 10.25. And I'm going to go ahead and still connect. So can you guys see what I'm doing? I'm also going to repeat the same thing. So I'm going to have this box into three places, okay? So I'm going to have 10.25 as well and then 10.25 okay and I'm going to go ahead and connect so can you see I finished connecting the three boxes I have one two three now to fold I'm going to fold this way okay so just take a look at the first line I'm going to make sure that I have my first line and I will fold. So my first line, my first fold should start from my first line. Okay? And stop on the second line. So can you see what I have here? And then for the third one, I'm going to fold backward, just like this. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I'm going to fold backward. So, I'll finish folding. Now, I'm going to start inputting my measurements. So, what I'm going to do is from here, I'm going to place in my 4.25. 
and as usual you know here is 10 point two five again i'm going to rotate my tape like this and place my 4.25 then point two five okay so you guys remember on this particular edge okay i should need half an inch for my hemming but because of this tutorial, I didn't go for that to input that. But if you want to draft yours, make sure that you have your half an inch. So what you should do, instead of inputting 10.25, you can increase it to 11 inches so that you have enough space to put that half an inch, okay, for your hem. So guys, can you see what I have? Now to cut this out, what I'm going to do is to go ahead and add my half an inch for joining to the waist. Can you see what I'm doing? Can you see? And I'm simply going to cut like this. Okay? And then from here, I'm going to add half an inch for joining to the waist as well. Okay, so because I didn't have enough paper right here, it's going to like short. But if you want to draft yours, make sure that you have enough so that you have it um, enter into this part, okay? So you guys, let me open it up and show you guys. So can you see what I have? Can you see? This is my semicircle and this is quarter of a circle, okay? So I'm going to just go ahead and cut this. And what I'm going to do is to go ahead and join this part to this part. Can you see what I have? I'm going to join this part to this part. Can you see? Okay. Can you see what is remaining for it to turn into can you see what I have here? Just remaining about quarter to become a full circle, okay? So this is what we call 270 degree flare. Can you see? All right, so we are going to go into the 360 degree flare, okay? Now that we are done with the 270 degree flare, we are going to go into the cutting of the 360 degree flare, which is the full flare, okay? And to cut our full flare, the calculation also applies. So I have four over four equals circumference over two pi. Can you see what I'm showing you right here? And R is equals 20, okay? So, um, our mannequin waist, uh, that is the circumference of our mannequin, and then divided by 6.28 times 4 over 4. Okay, now 20 times 4, we have 80. Do you understand? And then 6.28 times 4, we have 25 points one two okay now radius is equals 3.18 do you understand me so after we divided all this we got 3.18 now 3.18 plus 6 which is the length of our flare okay we give us 9.18 okay now for us to fold our full circle I have my brown paper here, or you can make use of your fabric. And for a full circle, you have to fold your fabric into four. Okay? So can you see what I have here? Okay? This is half of this my pattern. Okay? But I don't want to waste that. So what I'm going to do is to go ahead and from this point, 
okay remember like i told you this is for you to be able to manage your fabric assuming this is your fabric you're not just going to waste this because you want to draft out a full circle rather you are going to take your measurement just like this okay so what i have is my radius is 3.18 plus six inches for my length making up to 9.18 so what i'm going to do is this i have my 9.18 but i'm just going to make use of 10 inches remember on the other ones i didn't add up um seam allowance for my hemming i don't know if it confuses you so we are just going to make use of 10 so that we'll be able to have our seam allowance on this part so i'm going to make use of 10 okay so i'm also equally going to make sure that i have 10 on this part can you see what I'm doing? I have 10 here and I have 10 and I'm going to also make sure that I have 10 on this part. And what I'm going to do is to go ahead and connect these lines. I'll connect. Can you see what I'm doing? So I'm going to have about four boxes okay so next i'm going to make sure that equally have 10 on this part okay so 10 and 10 and i'm going to go ahead and equally connect And you see what I'm doing? Okay. And on this part again, I'm going to ensure that I have also 10. So I'm going to start from here. And I'm going to mark out 10. 10. And again, 10. So I'm going to go ahead and connect all this together. So you guys, now that I have my four boxes, what I'm going to go ahead and do is to cut, okay? So I'm going to cut out these parts so that I'll be able to fold this with ease. Okay, so I'm going to keep this aside and I fold. So look at me. Can you see this is the middle? So what I'm going to do is to ensure that this touches this. Can you see what I'm doing? And again this like this okay so you guys this is actually very very simple okay so i'm just going to make sure that i have my folds in order and i'm just going to go ahead and cut out the excess okay So now that I have my paper folded into four, let's count. One, two, three, four. Can you see? So I still have excess around this part. So let me just cut it out. So can you see? One, two, three, four. So I'm going to start inputting my measurements and to input my measurements, can you see here is folded. I'm going to start inputting my measurements from this folded part. So what I'm going to do is to mark out my radius and then my 
length simultaneously. So I have my 3.28. 3.28, 9, so I'm making use of 3.25 and 9.25. That is what I think is closest to that, okay? So I'll use 3.25. If you want, you can actually make use of that 3.18, okay? So I have my... 9.5. Can you see what I'm doing? 9.25. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my marker to connect all this together. You guys. Okay. Connect, connect, and I'm going to simply go ahead and cut. And to cut, remember, like I told you, I'm going to input half an inch, okay? So now you can see that I have my half an inch in place, okay? So what you're going to do is just simply increase your length, okay? If you have... If you have it to be 9.5, you go ahead and insert 10 inches so that you'll be able to have enough for your hemming allowance. So you guys, can you see what I have right here? I have my full circle. So guys, um, pardon me, I'm going to make use of a voice over now. So this is where we are going to be calling it a day. This is the end of this particular tutorial okay so in my next one about flare i'm going to definitely teach you how to cut out your 720 your 108 degree flare and other ones but for now let's call it a day because this particular video is al already too long all right you guys if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't joined this family at this time, please subscribe to this channel to join the beautiful family. And don't forget to share this particular video to get more people to see it. I will definitely see you in my next one. Bye.